The undisputed elite splits up on AEW Dynamite as Adam Cole, Kyle Riley, and Bobby Fish attack the Young Bucks. Hey guys, welcome back to Wrestle News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of All Elite Wrestling. And of course, last night was AEW Dynamite on TBS. It featured the return of Adam Cole and the Undisputed Elite. Well, obviously, the Undisputed Elite consisting of other people that have been on the shelf recently. The reason why it was the return is because Adam Cole's been dealing with a multitude of injuries. He's had a concussion, torn labrum. You've had Kyle O'Reilly out of action, Bobby Fish out of action. Meanwhile, the Young Bucks have kind of been in the background obviously they lost the aw world tag team championships recently to swerve in our glory so it was a big moment that the undisputed elite was back in full force but the undisputed elites are no more because they have now officially split up now of course last week aw announced their new aw trios championship this is all part of the split up of the undisputed elite now a tournament will crown the first champions of the bouts with the finals being held at the AEW all out pay-per-view on september 4 with trios and stables such as the gun club death triangle house of black etc it's certainly going to be very interesting who is going to be crowned the first champions however after last night's episode of dynamite on tbs we at least know one team that will not be winning the AEW trios championships the undisputed Elite will not be the first AEW Trios champion, or at least any iterations involving the Young Bucks in the faction. On Dynamite, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish turned their backs on Matt and Nick Jackson. They attacked the Young Bucks from behind, blindsiding them. The trio would continue the beatdown until something very interesting happened. The music of Hangman Adam Page rang throughout Columbus, Ohio. Page ran down to the ring, metal pipe in hand, ready to even the odds. But before Hangman man could get his hands on Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Frisch. The three men retreated. After they ran off, Page turned around, faced the Young Bucks and offered his hand to help them up. The Young Bucks accepted Hangman's hand and they appeared to be on the same page for the first time in nearly two years. This is the first time, of course, that we've seen the former Elite members together since the Young Bucks, alongside their best friend Kenny Omega, kicked Hangman Page out of the group in 2020. Since then, they've had an on-again, off-again feud, including Adam Cole, um, Bobby Fish, Kylie Riley, and even the Dark Order. The only elite member not present for this segment though was Kenny Omega. Omega is currently out of action with injuries or several injuries but has been rumored to be returning at all out. So the reason why Adam Colt and uh, and Kyle Riley and Bobby Fish turned on the Young Bucks in this segment was that Adam Cole came out and basically said, look, I'm not medically cleared. I've got to, con well, he didn't actually say the words, but he said, I'm not medically cleared to compete. And he said, we've got the AEW Trios Championships. And essentially, I saw you were talking to Hangman Page last week. And, you know, if you're not going to um, team up with Kyler Riley and Bobby Fish, then you're not going to team up with any. You're not even going to be in the tournament. And that's when they attacked him. They turned and uh, and they kicked him out. Um, it was <laughs> quite um, wild to see because the, when they turned their backs um, on the Young Bucks and began the beatdown, they panned to just the perfect camera shot in the crowd because uh, clearly they've got obviously got all of these camera angles going on, but they cut to a shot in the crowd of a young member of the audience who had burst into tears. He was devastated. He was absolutely devastated. It was just, it was tremendous. He looked horrified and looked so upset. And it was just, I thought it was just great television. It was absolutely great television. Um, I don't, it's interesting what this is building to because whilst Adam Cole is currently out of action, I wouldn't be shocked if he competes in the tournament. Um, the the reason he's not medically cleared to compete right now is because of the concussion, as far as I'm aware. He still has the torn labrum, and if reports are to be believed, he is going to work through it and rehab it, essentially. Um, but I wouldn't be shocked if he's part of this tournament. The the, the impression I got, and again, the, the reports that were out there, were that Kenny Omega is going to be coming back, and he's coming back probably all out. Once they announced these trios championships, you went, I see where they're going with this one. We're going to have the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, the elites, versus the Undisputed Era. Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Riley, Bobby Fish. That's where they're going with this one. That's that's what made a lot of sense. The interesting thing is, though, is this Hangman Page involvement. And I, I was trying to think, where does this fit in? And the, the way that I've kind of come to the conclusion of 
and I said this before, Kenny Omega coming back at, at, at All Out, it, it, to me, makes the most sense. But th there is a tournament here, so there has to be matches. And how do you how do you have Kenny Omega appear at AEW All Out without um, a, a appearing on Dynamite and competing in all of these matches? That seems very difficult to do. So what I think is going to happen is you're going to have the Undisputed Era compete in this tournament, get to the finals. You're going to have um, Hangman Page, or they call it the Hung Bucks, the Hangman Page and the Young Bucks compete in the tournament. And then the finals are going to, going to be scheduled to be uh, the Undisputed Era versus the Hung Bucks. And that's where you're going to see Kenny Omega's return. Kenny Omega will return. He will side with the Young Bucks and Hangman Page. And either they turn their backs again on Hangman Page or the faction is reunited and we have the Elite uh, back together as a faction once again. Now, it's not the full Elite because Cody Rhodes is not in WWE anymore, but it's the remaining members of the Elite. And you have all of the, I mean, Hangman isn't an AEW EVP, but the founding members, if you will, of AEW reunite. That would be a big picture. So I think that's where they're going with this one. Um, Tony Khan had said previously that he didn't even want to consider bringing back, or, or in implementing rather, AEW Trio's Tag Team Championships until Kenny Omega was ready to return. So I don't, Part of me, when I heard that, said, "Well, he wants Kenny Omega then and the Young Bucks to be those to be that first the, the first champions." But with the way they're building this, it kind of implies that maybe the first champions would be the Young Bucks and Hangman Page. I'm not sure. That that's the sort of the point of confusion I have a little bit. But that's not a bad thing. The best storyline shouldn't necessarily be predictable. Uh, the turn last night. It, I guess it kind of came a little bit out of, out of nowhere. And again, the reaction to it was great. Um, this has always been a strange iteration of the Elite anyway, because, again, of Adam Cole's leadership and Kenny Omega's absence and all of this stuff going on. I prefer the Undisputed Era to be their own thing and the Elite to be their own. So I'm glad to see that they're going uh, in that direction. But clearly, it's building to something big. There is no doubt about that. It's building to something big. And, and and Kenny Omega's return is going to be factored somehow into all of this. So it's going to be certainly a big storyline. And I can also see why Adam Cole would be like, I'm not going to get surgery on my torn labrum because there are big plans, clearly, you know, involving the Undisputed Era versus the Elite. Probably Adam Cole versus Kenny Omega is going to happen in the future as well. So all of this... You, you, you can understand his point of view by saying, well, I can't, I just can't be on the shelf. There's too much going on. I'm too factored in. There are big plans. I can get my shoulder properly fixed later on. The storyline plans just are too big at the moment. And frankly, with all of the injuries that AEW has, they need Adam Cole right now. They really do. They need him on television, especially with these plans coming into All Out, and especially with AEW being a bit colder than they were at this time last year. So let me know your thoughts on the plans for the Undisputed Elite or the Undisputed Era versus the Elite the trio championships all that fun stuff let me know your thoughts of the segment in the comment section below uh, be sure to smash a like on the like button be sure to subscribe to wrestle news 365 and i'll speak for you again very very soon hey guys thank you for watching listening streaming or however you come across this video today be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video or click the bottom there to subscribe or the bottom right hand corner thank you very much and i'll speak to you again very soon